Hi, I'm Steve Bull, and I'm from New York. Uh, but I grow oysters on Long Island, and I grow beef in Ogallala, Nebraska, as well as having a very small uh, organic farming practice there. Transmission art, it, to me, is very important because transmission art already has the ear of, of an audience, and it's of an audience that is committed to this kind of space of listening to something new. It's an audience that's committed to not being, not buying what is being sort of sold to them by large commercial operations, but instead um, it's more peer-to-peer. -peer. It's people who are passionate about their music sharing it with other people who are passionate about other kinds of music. So Transmission Arts takes the kind of work that I'm doing, which is kind of internet related and cell phone related, and phone related and makes it available to a, to another audience and I'd recommend it to any artist if they get a chance to work uh, in the transmission arts area. Now a transduce object is actually taking an object and turning it into a speaker by putting the speaker coil if you will and mel welding it to the object itself and by doing that the object then begins to resonate a sound and that's peculiar to uh, what I like to do in a live performance which is slightly different than what I'm doing on the server. The server creates its performance by computer code but in the live performance, the collaborative thing that we were doing today, we are we repurpose all those call-ins that people have and then we meld them into a larger uh, uh, song with everybody, every one of these participants that I'm with um, adding their own uh, mixing, scratching, DJing, jamming to each of those uh, call-ins and, and by doing their scratchings on they sort of personalize it and we create this uh, other work. The first performance was about the unrolling, marching on of big business in agriculture, which includes Monsanto and, and GMOs, and we were also presenting the unhappy bee. The second movement that we were doing was the chaos and that happens with the potential crash of this kind of intensive agricultural practice that um, is being propagated today. GMOs are like really bad for you. Genetic modified organism? What, what's that? What's that all about? Then the third movement was kind of the rebirth of nature because nature will always be with us even when we, after, we kind of screw up which is kind of like the replanting of heritage seeds and getting more involved in, in, the, in the rebirth. And so each one of those uh, movements came out very well today and I was very pleased uh, with how my collaborators uh, were able to take the call-ins and turn them into a terrific performance. It's one of the things that I'm interested in is getting people to participate using their cell phone in creating a larger work and in this case creating a work of, of audio art, if you will. So the Cellphonia engine, which is built on a server encoded by myself with uh, assistance from some of the colleagues you see over my shoulder, actually asks for people to give a contribution of their voice. In this case they were asked to give a buzz, buzzing like a bee, and then name their favorite vegetable or just name a vegetable or fruit. And I take those responses that I get from people and using computer code on the server create an ephemeral song. So what ephemeral means is, is that the, the newest caller, the caller that calls in right now, bumps the oldest caller out of the song. And then everybody kind of advances to the next, all callers advance to the next space in the song and then the song is recreated. So if you're dialing into it, every time you hear a brand new song that's actually created in large part by the callers who call in. And I really like this space because it's kind of participatory art in which the callers are act, not just sitting there passively listening to the tune, but are able to influence it and change the tune themselves. Thank you so much, Wave Farm, for having me as your uh, resident artist in 
2014.